Hey, what is going on, Guardians? Nem with Planet Destiny here. And it's Friday, which means that Xur is back in the world of Destiny. And this week, he's located in the tower. It's going to be right down here in the hangar area. So let's go ahead and take a look where he's at. Now here we are. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what he has for us this week. Whoa! We actually have Forsaken Exotics! Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We have the Trinity Ghoul, the Arc Bow, Ophidian Aspects for the Warlocks, Oathkeeper Gauntlets for the Hunters and Ursa Furiosa for the Titans. So we have three Forsaken Exotics this week, guys. Pretty big day for Xur. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful Trinity Ghoul here with its intrinsic split electron perk. Fires an arrow that splits when released, aiming down the sights and fully drawing the bow, both decrease the spread so this is actually a pretty fun bow and it's intrinsic perk lightning rod precision kills grant the next shot chain lightning capabilities now this is actually a really fun bow so this shoots three arrows um you know when you get a precision shot you'll your next arrow is going to be imbued with lightning now one of the things to note about the trinity goal is that Depending on how far back you pull the arrow, your spread of the arrows is going to decrease. But if you pull it halfway through, your arrows will kind of spread open a little bit more. Um, this is actually really good for crowd control. So if you, you know, if you get a precision shot and you're, you're fighting a lot of thralls or, or a bunch of drags, and they're pretty close to one another, if if you want to get a bigger area of effect with the lightning, just Pull the bow about halfway back and then release and the arrows will have a bigger spread in between them allowing the chain lightning ability to really get in there it's really fun really takes a little bit of practice to kind of perfect the way the trinity ghoul works but it's absolutely worth it and super incredibly fun to use now onto fitting aspects which is still a you know, relatively older exotic came with curse of osiris with its cobra totemic intrinsic perk Weapons ready and reload very quickly. Melee range is extended. As far as perks, we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Scavenger, and Machine Gun Scavenger. Oath Keepers for the Hunters, in another Forsaken Exotic. With its intrinsic adamantine brace, intrinsic perk, bow charges can be held indefinitely. So this is, this is more of a niche type of uh, exotic to use. It pairs fantastically with the exotic bows, particularly Luminarc, because uh, Luminarc has a short window of, where, of how long you can hold the arrow before the poison AoE de-triggers. Oath Keepers will allow you to hold the Luminarc for a very long, you know, indefinitely without losing the ability to proc that AoE of poison. So. If by any chance you do happen to have Luminarc and you don't have Oath Keepers, I highly suggest picking them up because they're incredibly fun to use. Of course, we have the same perks because these are static. And finally, for the Titans, the Ursa Furiosa. With its Ursine Guard Intrinsic Perk, move faster while guarding when Sentinel Shield is active and guard damage converts to super energy when the super ends. Now, unfortunately, of course, these were these were nerfed not so long ago. They were pretty powerful in PvP, um, but they're still incredibly fun to use because you know the more damage you block, the more super damage, uh, the more super energy you'll get back when your super is um, depleted. One thing to note, however, is that if you are blocking with the Ursa Furiosas and you happen to die 
in the action if like if, if another super is used against you or anything of the sort or if they keep shooting you to the point where your super uh, immediately depletes and you die instantaneously that energy unfortunately will not get converted so if you're using the Ursa Furiosa try to guard as much as possible and then get to safety if you know that your super is about to run out because the super energy will not translate if you are dead. And finally we have the typical faded engram. Let me make sure that I have space here. I do not. So let's go ahead and let's get rid of this. Let's keep my taken armaments and let's see if Nem gets a piece of armor. No, again, Nem is not allowed to have armor. All right, and finally we have the Five of Swords challenge card. For those that are chasing the 100k uh, Nightfall scores, this will give you additional modifiers to use for that. But with that being said, Guardians, thank you so much for watching. Tier 2 of The Reckoning is out this week. Uh, so get in there power power level if you if you need I believe it's 670 the power level for tier 2 But with that being said guardians. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time